What's up everybody? This is Hector, you're watching Bites and Beats, a channel dedicated to music reviews and video game discussion. And today I'll be doing an album review of The Drums' fourth bullet album, Abysmal Thoughts. Uh, the Drums is a band from uh, New York, uh, based out of New York, and they made their commercial debut with their self-titled album in 2010. Uh, that album uh, kind of is significant for modern rock music because this band is reviving that surf rock sound, that kind of post-punk sound. Um, in a way. And uh, this album is following up 2014's uh, uh, record um, Encyclopedia in which they really they really went for the more post-punk sound and that that kind of I don't want to say pissed off fans but it it definitely pushed away a lot of the uh, the fans that they gathered with their first two records with that Sir Fox sound because on that record they, they like I said they go for a more post-punk sound and even the opener track for that um i forget the name of it but it, it was very different for the band and i personally i i thought the record was okay uh it was definitely a step away from their the stuff that they were known for which i kind of praised the band for doing and um so yeah on this record they kind of returned to their to their uh trademark surf rock sound with a couple of surprises here um i was a little disappointed that they did kind of a uh, go back instead of, you know, kind of go forward um, in terms of their sound, in terms of what they were writing, in terms of, uh, you know, that experimentation. Um, you know, they weren't doing anything fancy. They weren't doing anything that uh, that kind of never was never heard before, but for the band themselves, you know, Encyclopedia was very different. And I kind of wish they were going forward with that sound instead of kind of taking it back on this record. <laughs> And uh, so yeah, um, you know, it starts off uh, with uh, the opening track, Mirror. Um, it's a very inter interesting track. It's it's not a bad opening track. I do feel like you're kind of pushed into the album, though, because it just starts off with some, some light synth work, and then the vocals pop in, which, like I said, it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad opener, but you know, it could have been better. Uh, and then you're treated um, along, you know, with their their kind of typical uh, surf rock sound which isn't bad and then you, we're starting to get a lot more effects on the vocals uh, towards the end of the track there's a lot of slapback vocals a lot of slapback reverb I mean and yeah it wasn't a bad opener um, but it kind of sets the tone for the record which is pretty good um, it, it's kind of declaring like hey we're here to do what we did before um, so me personally hearing that I was just kinda like eh like all right, it, it's not bad. You know, I liked I liked their debut album. I liked um, their second record. Uh, I forget the name of it. it starts with P, but whatever. Um, and so yeah, so it starts off with that record and moves on to the second track, which is uh, I believe the lead single off of the song, uh, off of the album. And um, there's there's a not really you know for a single. I, I don't I didn't think that there was anything memorable about this song. It's kind of forgettable. It's not really uh, it's not really amazing um, for the band. It's not anything that they've done they haven't done before, you know. And but it does move on to the next track, Heart Basil, which I found really like was was really what grabbed me, what grabbed my attention, um, because there was a lot of. Uh, or not a lot of, but there was some really clever and heavy usage of synthesizers here. Uh, especially in the beginning where we have that lead guitar over a kind of reggae, almost a, a little bit of reggae, like do 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 It's kind of a reggae kind of synth bass, but what, what you know piqued my interest here was the fact that there was synthesizers used a lot more, which the, the band has done before, especially on their uh, first record, but here it kind of feels a lot more natural it feels a lot more like uh like it should be there and and they did they definitely crafted like the synth work here like really well um you know and and that kind of repeats throughout the entire album where we have the slight synth work kind of complementing the lead guitars the uh the vocals and and such and i'm i'm not sure i'm not entirely sure if they're using electronic drum i know they are like um Especially on the opener, they're using like uh, tingy hi hats and stuff. 
Um, but I'm not sure if the entire set was electronic, if the entire drum, if all the drums were just programmed, because it does have a kind of raw acoustic sound to them. Um, but like on the first three tracks, the drums do kind of sound like either they were synthesized, they were either electronic drums, or they were just heavily processed uh, acoustic drum set. Uh, I'm not entirely sure uh, because they don't really punch through the albums too much, which is fine. You know, the band never said like, "Hey, our drummer is really good," or "Hey, like our drums, uh, like production is really good, so it should be in the fourth." No, it complements the speed and and the kind of music that they're writing, which which again is pretty good, and I do like the sound of the drums on this record. Um, but anyway, like. They, they use a lot of these synthesizers to complement these songs. Um, one of my favorite, and probably my favorite track on this album, is uh, Your Tenderness, which is a really interesting track for them to write uh, because it starts off kind of slow, but then it goes into this really, really heavy synthesizer line that kind of um, <clears throat> mimics and has a very drum and bass flavor to it. A do, 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 that kind of sound to it, which I thought was really awesome. For this band and and I, I was really taken back by that track uh, I was really surprised with that and um, you get a lot of that that kind of sense work here and then as far as the guitars here um, it's nothing special um, the guitars and when acoustic bass or electric bass is used here um, we do get kind of that same two two like two chord or two note like progression that kind of stuff, uh, which you know, it's it's not bad. That's the kind of music that they're writing here. Um, but you know, it does get kind of old, especially for after this many records. Um, you know, it, it's not entirely like their their last efforts, but I feel like I'm kind of listening to the same kind of shit now. Which, you know, kind of turns me off a little bit about the guitars and the bass, but there are some nice guitar leads here that really complement the rest of the track. You know, they even have the guitar leads floating over some of these these synthesizers in the background, which I thought was bad, which I thought wasn't bad. Um, and then, I mean, there's really not much else to talk about this album besides the vocals. Um, on some of these, uh, on some of these tracks, we do get a kind of chorusy like vocals where there's multiple layers of the vocals um, in a very uh, high pitched you know falsetto that um, the singer is known for and but the problem for me with the vocals is that I felt like I had to try hard on some of these tracks to kind of listen to what he was saying um, even though like the lyrics to me really are just kind of meh I mean they're not bad but they're not anything that I really needed to pay attention to and that's reflected on this record because the vocals do kind of uh, fall back a little bit and they kind of they they provide more of a melody to the record than they do actually contribute to these tracks <clears throat> excuse me the way vocals should uh, which I should you know I want to hear what you're saying but it's not bad he does have a very nice voice and it does complement the music um, overall my feeling on this record um, it's not a bad record. Uh, I actually really liked it. I was really surprised with the re direction that it took. Um, oh, and another thing I wanted to p touch on was the fact that the the sound of this record, the way it was produced, I really liked it because it, it has a very raw raw energy and there's very like it's kind of like a like how they sound like a very garage kind of sound in a way, um, kind of bedroom sound if you will. I know some people hate that term, but it's uh, what I will use. Um, it's it's like compared to the last record, which was well well produced, especially for the sound that they were putting out. Um, I, I just like this kind of like uh, raw kind of in the heart like sound of the record. It really complements the songs. Um, but yeah, overall, I, I really d uh, did like this record. Um, I did enjoy listening to it throughout. There's not a lot of songs that I definitely don't like. Um, I mean, the closing the closing track. Uh, was kind of eh, it was like an okay uh, closer. Um, it, it was pretty catchy, it's not a bad closing track, but uh, I don't know, Th like that record had, that track is probably the one I li <clears throat> like the least amount, <clears throat> because they have this really tingy 
synthesizer in the middle of the track uh, that I didn't really enjoy too much. <clears throat> but other than that, I really liked some of the fuzzy guitar work here. So some of the synthesizers, especially on your tenderness, like my favorite song on the album. <clears throat> and they they did return to their sound, uh, which you know was kind of okay for me. Um, yeah, overall, I really dug this record. Uh, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, I really did enjoy it, and I will probably return to it. It's not uh, the band's best effort. It's not anything that I would have loved to see them do on this record, but it did deliver pretty well. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, once again, this is Hector. You're watching Bites and Beats. Uh, please like, subscribe, um, like my Facebook, uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm going to start doing uh, stuff more frequently. Um, and especially uh, in regards to video games as well. So yeah, thank you. Uh, love you guys.